Hello YouTube, welcome back to Thrust Vector Gaming and another episode of Kerbal Space Program. First off, I just want to say that if you think I sound a little bit weird, that's because I've caught on to a cold here, but I'm gonna try to do my very best anyway. I also want to apologize for the weird mouse offset that you will see in this video. In an attempt to give you full HD content without actually having a full HD uh, capable display myself, uh, something weird happened in between uh, Kerbal Space Program and OBS Studio uh, during the recording, but yeah, we'll have to live with it through this video. I'm gonna speed up this clip here of the building process of this rocket here, the heavy lifter rocket, if you want to see the um, full length video. Uh, I will have a link down in the description and you can also click the uh, card up in the right top corner here of this video uh, to see that. My first design uh, started off with the Rockamax fuel tank here and a skipper engine and then I stuck a couple of boosters on the side here but things didn't pan out as I wanted and as you can see here with my little test flight and things got out of hand, I flipped around and yeah, disaster really struck. So it was back to the drawing board. A new design quickly started to take form where I dumped the solid rocket fuel boosters and added in some liquid fuel instead in the form of the Rockamax tanks with some skipper engines on the bottom. Then I stuck some nose cones on and off we went into the sky. And this time, during the test flight, we actually got ourselves into space. So, with those words, let's for real start this video here with the mission to go on a free return trajectory to the Mun. And here we are in the VAB, and we're gonna import the heavy lifter rocket here, the sub assembly that we named Upgore 1. We're also gonna make sure that we have the correct pilots here for this mission. So we're gonna have Jebediah Kerman and Valentina Kerman, our brave pilots, who are gonna go on this mission to the Mun. payload will be a fairly simple one uh, where we starting off with a life support container and on top of that we also add the the waste container the uh, the life support container uh, has food oxygen and other various needful things whereas the uh, waste container takes care of uh, carbon dioxide and other nasty stuff that we don't want uh, our pilots to uh, get exposed to, uh, at least not too much. Around uh, everything of this I built a fairing as you can see here, uh, but soon after that I realized that I uh, probably need some solar panels as well, so I had to tear the fairing down, add some solar panels and then build up the fairing once again. And now it is time for us to go into space with MechJeb set to an orbit altitude of 80 kilometers and a limit acceleration of 17 meters per second we will soon start our burn into space. Some might say that uh, the um, MechJeb application is a little bit of cheating but uh, at least I don't think so. Uh, Real space agencies use uh, pre-programmed uh, ascent profiles and after you've done these ascents manually a couple of times it, it starts to get pretty boring. So I'm gonna stick with MechJeb uh, at least for the ascents into space uh, for now and we'll see what we can do with MechJeb in the future. As we turn the camera towards space we can see the Mun up there the very thing that we are going to visit in just a minute here. And with the wonders of uh, post-processing of this video, we're gonna speed it up to get things going a bit faster.
At last we are in orbit around Kerbin and ready to set sail towards the Mun. A new node was created to put us on a free return trajectory, and after a couple of minutes fiddling with the adjustment handles, we had ourselves a decent planned maneuver. Now our pilots only had to execute the burn, and off we go. Coming up on the completion of our burn, we are gradually lowering the throttle to glide slowly into the perfect orbit that we before had planned with our maneuver node. And there we have it, and with a couple of small minor adjustments to get our periaps low and nice, we have our free return trajectory set for the trip to the Mun and back to Kerbin. And once again, with the powers of post-editing, we are time-lapsing ourselves out towards the Mun. And here we are. We are going in behind it, the solar eclipse there, with the Mun between ourselves and the Kerbal, the sun of this solar system. It will soon emerge here again. And we have completed our trip around the moon and will soon head back to the planet Kerbin once more. Jebediah and Valentina Kerman looks thrilled. And who knows, maybe they are on their honeymoon to the moon. The only thing left now is to fall back towards the planet Kerbin and await to hit the atmosphere and ascent down to the surface. At last, we have reached the atmosphere and we are separating our craft. Valentina and Jebediah Kerman will descend only in their lander can and with a heat shield to protect them from the aerodynamic forces. Soon the parachutes will open and they will glide down towards the surface. And we have touched down. Valentina and Jebediah are safe home after a mission around the moon. Once again, I want to apologize for my voice in this episode. Uh, I've been catching a cold, but until next video, I hope that will be uh, sorted out. Until then, uh, I wish you the very best. This is Strasslicht Gaming, signing out.